first founded Rock Music Festivals, it was really a two weekend event. And uh, it has grown exponentially now into being 20 plus weeks of activity with the National Academy being the centerpiece. Uh, I think it's unique in the sense that it, it allows uh, the audience in Hamilton an opportunity to attend as much or as little in various different fields of musical entertainment and, and education as they wish. Playing with the Brock Festival, it's, you get a very interesting experience because they are very innovative and creative in the way that they program their concerts. For instance, this year with the James Street North Art Crawl, we had a concert which highlighted Ravel Mazorski's Pictures in an Exhibition. The festival commissioned 11 local artists to create original artwork for each movement of that. Um, now this kind of concert brings in a more diverse audience because you're, you're tapping into the art crawl audience as well as our own. In one of the four concerts they play, play a Canadian work so they could highlight uh, the wonderful chamber repertoire that we have in Canada. Every job I have now, I somehow can connect back to the National Academy Orchestra and Morris. Um, just from putting my name out there, people that you meet is great for networking. Uh, I'm currently uh, an associate mentor with the National Academy Orchestra. I was an apprentice myself, I'm an alumnus of the program, a uh, percussion apprentice for I believe four years with this program and uh, I'm here now to uh, help out when I can. I'm glad to see that over the course of all this time has continued to hold the very same high standard that it was when I was an apprentice uh, for Canada's largest orchestral music festival. <laughs> wonderful experiences for us as young as musicians, all of us, is that we see that, we watch them come in, we watch their faces, and we watch in the course of 10 minutes uh, how those faces change and how involved they become, and uh, I think perhaps one of the greatest compliments that we can get as musicians is to hear them walking out and say, wow, that was really cool, and I think that's really what it's all about. Uh, you know, there are very few experiences in life uh, for a young person where you're touched by something that opens a world to you. Uh, and when that happens, it affects all of your studies. It just doesn't affect that study in particular. In my own case, it was a literature professor who uh, opened my eyes to the beauty of poetry and the beauty of verbal expression. And that helped me in my music, helped me in my math, helped me in my uh, geography. and in, in every subject, it, it opened the, the love of learning to me. And I think that's what we try to do in our concerts. There are lots of things that I like about the festival. Um, firstly, the price is right. Um, and and um, the, you have a special series rate and you look after us so well. The programs are excellent, excellent, just excellent. That uh, drumming at the beginning was without a doubt uh, a masterpiece. And uh, I was absolutely spellbound. If you were going to introduce yourself to the Brock concert, here's the one. And what's going to happen after the intermission with Carmina Virana by Carl Orr, that's a memorable occasion for a good way to start into classical music. Boris makes it natural for them. He doesn't make it elitist in any way. He makes it something that every child can enjoy and every adult can enjoy, regardless of their background. And it's not something that you can really explain to people. And talking to you here, it doesn't really mean anything. It's only when you go to the concerts and when you get that feeling and when you realize that everybody around you is feeling the same way, that's when you notice what a difference it makes.